Hey you guys, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family, subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of thanking you guys for being so kind, supportive, and wonderful. My subscribers are my friends and I love you guys getting to know you guys and just talk twice a week, hang out or you know now every day a week in our Facebook group if you want to join. There's a link in the description box down below. Just brings me a ton of joy and I hope it brings you guys joy too. I am going to be shouting out a special subscriber at the end of today's video so make sure you stay tuned till the end in case that's you. Okay I want to start off by giving a big thank you to DJ Hardy. This is Kimmy of Travel with the Twins Fiance. DJ, this video was your idea. So recently, I retook the sorting test to discover my Hogwarts house. And during the premiere of that video, DJ suggests that I take the quiz to see what my Patronus was. So years ago on Pottermore, when I took the Patronus quiz, I got a Husky as my Patronus. So I'm curious to see, because I know Patronuses can change over time. Is I'm still a Husky? Has it changed? I don't know. So I'm going to be using the BuzzFeed quiz for some reason. Pottermore, which is now Wizarding World, is not a website that wants to work for me. If somebody can help me solve that, let me know, please, any of my techie friends. But yes, let's not wait anymore. Let's jump right into the quiz. Okay, so on BuzzFeed, the first question is for you to pick a spell. The options are Expelliarmus, Accio, Stupefy, Reducto, Wingardium Leviosa, Sectum Sempra, evil, Protego, Piri, Pirto, okay, I love Harry Potter, Piertotum Locomotor, I don't remember that one, or Lumos, I'm gonna say Lumos, I love Expelliarmus, classic, and Accio would be really handy, but Lumos just has a special place in my heart. Next, what's your favorite Hogwarts class? Alchemy, Charms, Arithmancy, Potions, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Transfiguration, Astronomy, Care of Magical Creatures, or Herbology? Okay, so this is actually a conversation that I've had with my family before, thinking about how amazing it would be to take classes at Hogwarts and how in the books they're always so bored in class. I'm like, how could you be bored in these classes? Okay, this is going to be really hard. Transfiguration would be amazing. Potions I would be really interested in. But I think I would have to pick charms because to me that's the bulk of what you do as a wizard is charm work and that's what I would want to know about the most. So charms. Next question. Who's your wizard witch crush? Ooh, Cedric Diggory, Ron Weasley, Lily Evans, Dean Thomas, nope, Cho Chang, no thank you is like the option for none of these people. Cho Chang, Neville Longbottom, Gellert Grindelwald, or Hermione Granger. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't have Malfoy as an option. Or Sirius. Cedric Diggory. That's who I'm going to pick. That's my crush out of those options. But if there was Sirius or there was Draco... Pick an object. Elder Wand, if you watched my last video where I got sorted into my house, you know I want the Elder Wand. I want the power. Okay, but Elder Wand, Sorting Hat, Invisibility Cloak, Firebolt, Sword of Gryffindor, a Snitch, a Resurrection Stone, a Time Turner, or a DA Coin. Ooh. Okay. See, with the Elder Wand, I feel like you could do a lot of the things that these other magical objects would allow you to do. Like I feel like you could make yourself invisible or fly or you know turn back time. So I'm gonna choose the Elder Wand again. Oh my I'm being very evil. Okay next question. Pick a drink. Fire whiskey, veritaserum, coffee, tea, pumpkin juice, wine, butterbeer, hot chocolate or lemonade. 
Okay, gotta go Butterbeer. But Veritas Serum could be good too. Also, I don't know what pumpkin juice would be like. Has anybody had that? Do they serve that in Harry Potter World? Is that something that they do? Can somebody let me know? Because I'm not huge on pumpkin. Like, I like pumpkin bread, but I don't really even like pumpkin pie that much. And so whenever they're talking about drinking pumpkin juice in the movies, I'm kind of plus minus on the idea of that. But butterbeer, I know it's delicious. And, okay, Melody Rose Leon, you guys have to go watch her TikTok. She made butterbeer on her TikTok that looked absolutely amazing. Check that out, because her recipe, amazing. I also really like hot chocolate and, of course, coffee. Okay. If you could hex anyone, who would it be? Bellatrix Lestrange, James Potter, Dolores Umbridge, Peter Pettigrew, Fenrir Greyback, Draco Malfoy, Lord Voldemort, Crabbe and Goyle, or Lucius Malfoy? Well, to be honest, I'd be scared to hex Voldemort because he might kill me. Um, probably Dolores Umbridge because she just really... Have you guys seen that meme where people talk about how she makes you hate her as much as Lord Voldemort? Like, she just, even just this picture on BuzzFeed, I'm like, yes, I just want to hex her right in the face. Dolores Umbridge. Okay. Pick a superpower. Shape-shifting, healing powers, teleportation, time travel, ability to talk to animals, telekinesis, super strength, ability to fly or read minds. Ooh, this is hard for me. I think teleportation would be awesome. Especially for me because I have to be gone so much for work. So it would be nice when I'm traveling to be able to teleport home at the end of the day. Time travel would also be really cool. Reading minds. Ooh, you guys, this is hard. Ability to fly. Why can't I have them all? Um... I'm gonna go teleportation but I think that it's between that and reading minds tough one pick a color red orange yellow green blue purple pink gray black um black pick a professor Mad-Eye Moody Rubius Hagrid Minerva McGonagall Horace Slughorn Sybil Trelawney Remus Lupin, Severus Snape, Albus Dumber, Dumbledore, Dumbledore, or Phileas Flitwick. Mm -hmm. I'm between Lupin and Dumbledore. Um, if I were taking a class, obviously Dumbledore always just does like one-on-one -on -one private classes like in the sixth book. So I'm going to go with him, but if not, then Lupin, because I think he made such an amazing teacher. So Dumbledore. Pick a phone app. Text, Facebook, Kindle, Instagram, Candy Crush, Snapchat, Spotify, Vine, or Twitter. Um, wow. Okay, let's think. Probably text, because that's where really meaningful, not as meaningful as in person, but more meaningful communication takes place. What's your favorite magic shop? Interesting. Zonko's Joke Shop, Borgen and Burke's, The Hogshead, The Three Broomsticks, Madame Puttyfoot's Tea Shop, Honey Dukes, Flourish and Blots, The Leaky Cauldron, or Ollivander's Wand Shop? Okay, for me, it's going to be between The Three Broomsticks because it just seems so cozy and iconic, or Ollivander's wand shop. I'm gonna go three broomsticks because I would hang out there and sometimes Ollivander's a little creepy. So three broomsticks. Okay, results. <gasps> this is interesting. What's your Patronus? You got a cat. Here's what it says. You're a brilliant person with a sarcastic flair and you enjoy a quiet life. You believe in equality and discourage special treatment, which makes you morally good and trustworthy. Your Patronus takes the form of the cat, the same as Minerva McGonagall. Now please continue to annoy the H-E double hockey sticks out of Umbridge. It's such an enjoyable experience. <gasps> interesting. Okay, this was really, really interesting. I'm going to screenshot this to put the results in the video. Huh. Yeah, very different than last time 
very different than last time. There were some close calls on some of those answers, so I'd be curious to see if retaking it and picking some of the second options renders different results. But that's a, I think that's a good result because that feels very classically witchy. You know what I mean? Like a cat's a familiar. So I like that. Plus I love McGonagall. I think she's incredible. This was fun. DJ, thank you for the idea. And thank you guys for watching. I want to give a special thank you and shout out to my friend, David Malicote. David, you and I actually met when we were in college. We had a marketing class together and you have always since day one been so sweet to me and so supportive. And you've even come over and supported on the channel. And that means the world to me. I just hope you know that Every time I see your name pop up on my phone, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook or here on YouTube, I'm really grateful for you. I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm grateful for all the kindness you've shown me since the day we met. And I'm glad that you're here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you back here again very soon on Alleyways. Bye!